In this video, we're going to discuss a few quick and cool extraction techniques. As a designer, we should know some quick and efficient techniques to extract some particular object or design element from an image. Let's start with the first example. This is an image of a model with clean white background, and we want to extract the model. We can extract this with the help of the pen tool, but it will be a very time-consuming technique, so we can't follow that. So now go and grab the Magic Wand tool and click on the white background to select it. To add a selection area, hold the Shift key and click on the portion which you want to add in selection. Now we want to extract the model, so we have to select her, go to the Select menu, and choose Inverse, so it will invert the selection. Our selection is done, but it still is not perfectly selected because it has some very sharp edges selected around it, and some pixel is not selected on some of the edges, and some unwanted pixels are also selected. So to deal with this problem, I'll click on Refine Edges button up here in the option bar. This is the Refine Edges panel. I'm changing the view mode from black and white to on black. Because of the black background, we can see what the problem with the edges of the model is. Now start painting on the edges of the model and see how it is subtracting some of the unwanted white color pixels from the selection. It has removed the rough edges and made them softer. Let me change the view mode to black and white. Keep in your mind that black means transparent and white means opaque. Here are some parts of the model that has been transparent, so for that, select Erase Refinements tool and correct the selection. But this is not a big issue, so we can deal with that later. You can see here some transparent pixels around the edge of the model in some specific portions. So now, Change the setting of the Output option. Select New Layer with Layer Mask from the drop-down list. Press OK. You can see here in the Layer panel, a new layer is created with Layer Mask. Now see these transparent pixels here? To deal with that, just duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl plus J. And you can see our problem is solved. You can see with the help of this cool trick, we have extracted the model very nicely. Now I'm going ahead to our next extraction technique. In this technique, we will talk about luminosity-based selection. See here is an image of smoke. In smoke, some portion is full opaque and some portion is half transparent. So we want to extract the smoke with proper transparent pixels. In a previous technique, we have done our selection with the magic wand tool, but here it will not be the proper technique in the case of smoke. So here we will use the Channels palette. In the Channels panel, hold Control key and just click on RBG panel on the top of the Channels panel. It loads all the brightness value as the active selection. It has selected the entire white background. Now go to the Select menu and choose Inverse. Then press Control plus J to create a new layer of the selected portion. You can see here a new layer is created from that selected portion, but it looks very flat. So to maintain its density, select the layer and press Ctrl plus J for around five times and merge all the duplicated layers. Now you can see with the help of this trick how perfectly we have extracted the smoke. This is called luminosity-based selection technique. Let's move on now to our next example. Here is a model and we want to extract her hair very quickly. If we use the pen tool in this particular image, then it will be time consuming process. But if we do not need to waste more time on this, we can do this very nicely and very quickly with the help of the refine edge option. Grab the quick selection tool and select the model roughly. Click on Refine Edge option. Select View Mode on Layer. 
and start painting around the edges of her hair. You can see how it is refining the selection around the hair. Look, some unwanted pixels are also removed from the selection. I'll take out this selection as New Layer with Layer Mask. Look here, a new layer is created with the layer mask and the model is extracted very nicely. Take a duplicate layer so that we can deal with some transparent pixels around the edge of the model. So these are some cool and quick tricks for extraction in Photoshop CC. In the next video, we'll talk about how to work with the brush tool in Photoshop.